out there in cyberspace. My name is Miss Alicia and I'm with the Irwin Branch Library here in Lexington County Public Library System. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about something that's very similar, very similar situations at my house. Parents, do you have one of these? Wait them for 20. It's one shot. Got him. Or teens. Is this a familiar thing that your parents keep talking to you and pestering you about all the time? Hey, why don't you read a book? Mm. Well, what, what do you like to read about? Mm. Can you just try reading a book? Mm. What don't you like to read about? Mm. Can you say anything but that? Mm. Well, guess what? Today we're going to level up your reading by discussing books about video games. I have some right here for you. So, are you one of those people that gets a little bit freaked out when all of a sudden you're like finding these Google ads and pops up on social media about things that you're just talking about with your friends and you're like looking around like who's watching you and why are they popping up on your phone all of a sudden? Well, what about if that constant feed is actually in your head, there's a chip implanted in your head and it runs 24-7 so you're constantly being bombarded with ads about food and gaming and helpful hints and things like that. So this is the book Feed and it's by M.T. Anderson. This is a great book to kind of realize what that could actually feel like. And an even better way to experience this book is to actually listen to the audio version where they actually insert the feed into the audio book. And you can download that on Overdrive or Libby or come on in and get a Playaway or the CD version. Yes, CDs are still existing, still out there. And that way you can experience feed just like the characters do in this book. So again, Feed by M.T. Anderson and it's in our young adult collection. All right, so, Warcross by Marie Lu. Now who better to write a book about video games than somebody who used to help design video games? Yes, this author used to help design video games. So this book is about an online gaming world called Warcross, and it's not really a game, it's more of a way of life for people. And there was an obsession that started about 10 years ago, and they, Pay goes across the globe, and people, this is their life now. Um, there's a character here named is Amika Chen, and she works as a bounty hunter through the game, and she tracks down players that play the game illegally, you know, those cheats, those hackers, those ones that are camping out, you know, those people. And she actually becomes so good at it, the actual designer of the game says, hey, I can introduce you to this whole new world of fame and fortune, if you want to come in there, and be a mole in the game course things just start happening. She finds out the true nature of this game, some sinister things going on behind the scenes. So if you want to check this out, it's in our young adult section as well. Alright, next we move on to Slay by Brittany Morris. So when a young black teen called Kira Johnson creates a virtual reality game called Slay as a safe space for her black gamer friends. And she has to keep this a secret. Her boyfriend doesn't know about it. She knows her family would totally disapprove of this game. And she goes to a mostly white prep school and she has to keep it a secret from them. But the game becomes so very popular that there becomes a murder over a fight in the game. An in game fight causes a murder. So now her whole world is about to become public and she has to keep it a secret and try to figure out who is doing this and if she can really reveal it's her herself that is actually the designer of the game. So again, this is Slay by Brittany Morris. You can find this in our young adult section as well. In real life, that's what IRL stands for, for those who get texts from their teens or significant others. It says IRL, that means in real life, and this is by Corey Dr. and Jin Wong. And there's an online game called Horse Gold Online, and it's a massive multiplayer role-playing game. Um, really big, really huge. You can be a fighter, you can be a hero, you can be a leader. So very true to classic RPGs that's going on. And Anda, the main character, loves gaming. She thinks that's all there is tonight. Until she uh, meets this gold farmer. For those who play games, you know what those are. For those who don't play games, the gold farmer is somebody who just sits there and farms all these items and stuff and then sells them for real money. Yeah, it's a thing. Um, but she quickly learns that her friend who is this, she was going to turn them in and then she realizes that maybe there's more to life than just games. So if you like um, games and kind of like a little bit of a social issue, this is a great one here. It's a graphic novel and um, really good. 
we're going to move on to Game Over Pete Watson. Um, I know it's, it's really tough when you see that Game Over pop up on the screen, but uh, Pete Watson is obsessed with video games. And not only that, he doesn't, you know, he kind of forgets what's going on in real life, and then he discovers his dad is like a super spy. Who gets sucked into a video game? Well, who's going to save him but Pete? Mr. Video Gamer himself. So he has to use his video game skills to enter this world where his dad is and he's being captured. And apparently he has to save his friends and his family from, get this, giant mechanical cockroaches. We are very familiar with those in South Carolina, right? And they fly sometimes too. So um, he's got to save them. There's a massive cyber attack that can take them out of the whole world's network. I mean, can you imagine? Again, this is Game Over, Pete Watson by Joel Schreiber. And that can actually be found in our juvenile section. And then we have, of course, Minecraft. Parents, teens, tweens, five-year-olds, we all play Minecraft, right? Well, we actually have several series in our system that are dedicated to Minecraft. You got heroes, you got creepers, you got all kinds. So if you really love Minecraft, you just come in and say, hey, I want a book about Minecraft. And we're going to be like, okay, we got graphic novels, we got series, we got a couple standalones. So this one is called Minecraft The End by Catherine Valente. And for as long as they can remember, the twin Endermen, Finn and Mo, have lived in this mysterious land of the end. And they have to keep the mighty Ender Doing? Why are they coming after our dragon? And so Ben and Mo have to protect their home from the trespassers and they come face to face with the humans. You gotta read the book. You gotta see. So here we are, humans are invading the video game world. And again, this can be uh, found in our juvenile fiction section and it's called Minecraft Again by Catherine Valente. Alrighty, so this is just a sampling of some of our books inspired by video games in our library system. I'll be right back. I'm going to go change into role playing games. Alright, so we're back at level two. And what we're going to talk about now are classic role playing games. Now, these are things like you have your paladin, your monks, your fighter, your um, maid, you got your rogue. Those terms sound familiar to you, then you're going to like these three books here. We're going to start off with a book about LARPing. Yes, that's live action role play is LARPing. And this is a, another graphic novel. It's called All's Fair in Middle School by Victoria Jamison. You see the fair spelled a little bit differently. And that's because 11 year old Imogene, known as Empy, has grown up with her two parents working Renaissance fairs. If you've ever been to a Renaissance fair, you know those are super cool. And people walk around in costume and they have a character and things like that. So she has been training and training to be a squire at the Renaissance fair, but she has to go on this quest and prove that she's brave. And what's the one thing she can show how brave she is? By going to middle school. Yes, and Imogene has been homeschooled all of her life, and now she's going to take this quest and try to conquer middle school. Yeah. That is a big quest. Well, you know what? It's not easy. She thinks she's found some friends and they turn out not to be her friends. Um, and then she has to do something really mean to prove to these girls that, um, that she's cool and she wants to fit in. And so Imogene's thinking to herself, is she the hero or she's like this mean dragon because she has to do something really, really bad. So to see what she chooses and how this ends, come to our juvenile graphic novel section and you can get all fair in middle school because middle school is cool. She's great. Now, this is a more classic uh, role playing game or an RPG. So you're, like I said, you're familiar with characters that are fighters and mages and rogues and wizards and, and things like that. Well, what if they really are these people? 
What if they live in a mystical realm and every day that's all they do is just find treasures and fight dragons and go battle in these dungeon crawls and things like that? And then, so what do all these heroes do for fun? Well, they play a game. You know what their game's called? Homeroom and Hall Passes. So that's the name of the book, Homeroom and Hall Passes by Tom O'Donnell. Yes, so these great fighters and warriors want to relax and they play a game called Home Rooms and Hall Passes where they begin to be middle school students. Again, you see, middle school is like this major like thing to overcome. So you have a mighty barbarian, you have a thief, you have a paladin, you have a gloom elf, and a good wizard. And so now they start playing this game and they're gonna be average American eighth graders. And of course, like any good thing in any of these battles, it's cursed. And what happens, they actually come in real life, into our real lives, and become eighth graders. And what's easier, battling a dragon? Battling algebra? You gotta find out if they're gonna try to get back to their realm. So again, get this book, it's in our young adult fiction section. So for those who like just classic adventures, this is a series called The Adventures Guild by Zach Clark. Now I think um, there's several in this series and if you just like the classic tale where you're reading about all these characters, like the mages and the rogues and the paladins and things like that, um, this is a great series for you. Uh, Zed wants to join the ranks of the Mages Guild and of course you have to go on adventures for that. And just as he thinks he's about to join the guild, of course something happens. Um, He's got to fight a defeat. He's got to friend a great poor here. So this is your classic, you know, adventure series using all these characters here. So again, Adventure Skills by Zach Clark, and this can be found in our juvenile novel section. So here are three different role playing. You have your live action role playing. You have your classic uh, RPG, and then you have the book about all these put together. So I'm glad that you were able to stop by and visit with me in all this. Hopefully you will find some of these books and enjoy them as well. Don't forget, all these books are in real life, IRL, at your local branch, or you can download them using our online resources, either with Hoopla or um, <laughs> so again, you can get these in real life here at one of your local branches, or you can download the e-version on Hoopra or Libby or Overdrive, depending on your device. And if you need help with that, please reach out to your local librarian. We are here. We are glad to help. We do have adjusted hours, so please take note of that. But our website is open 24-7. I hope to see you guys again soon.